welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's going to be a very motivating clean with me. I am just cleaning out the main area of my house. The bedrooms and bathrooms needed a lot of work as well, but I cleaned for two hours just on the main areas, which was the mud room, the laundry room, the kitchen, and the living room. And by that time, I was just out of energy. I didn't have a lot of energy on this day. I had been dealing with my daughters who had had colds the last couple of days. They were very cranky and not sleeping as well. And so they not only needed my attention at the end of that time frame, but I also just didn't have a lot of energy and so it was just time to take a break and relax and I will have to finish the rest on another day. very difficult to record in since it's such a small narrow space so I just decided to go ahead and move everything out to the island so that it would be easier to film but also so I could kind of just spread it all out and have like space to think and figure out where everything needed to go Christina. I'm a wife of 13 and a half years and a mom to two toddler girls, Lexa who is three and Kenzie who is one. On this channel my mission is just to encourage other moms, help you not feel as alone and just feel like you can get something done today. Just give you that motivation to get up and get going. I know sometimes being a mom can be stressful. Some days you have lots of energy and you feel like you can conquer the world, but other days you literally feel like everything is a struggle and I have had many of those days having two young toddlers myself, so I totally understand it. And I just wanna be here for anyone who just needs that little extra motivation to get it all done.
junk on my countertops was kind of driving me nuts so I decided to go ahead and just start removing that putting it on the island so I could wipe down the countertops now here I am using a homemade all-purpose spray and I got the recipe from cleanmama.com so I will put that in the link down below if anybody's interested so the verdict is still out for me on how much I like this I've only been using it for a couple of weeks at the time of recording this video and I am not huge on the vinegar smell. Now I can say after the first couple of days with the essential oils sitting in it, it is like a mixture of water, vinegar, essential oil, something else. Um, after those sitting in there for a little bit, I do feel like it has actually, the vinegar smell has gone down and so I'm liking it more. On this day is the first day I've noticed the vinegar smell is like a lot more mild. But yeah, so if you're interested in that uh, recipe, it will be linked down below, but just beware, depending on what essential oils you choose to use in it, it might have a little bit of a strong vinegar smell. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. So, you guys will notice that I have been moving this little white basket around with me and taking things out of it and putting things in it. Basically, what I do is if I'm trying to stay in a room and not walk out and get distracted, I will just put items in a one place that need to go in other rooms. So anything that needed to go in my bedroom or my daughter's bedroom or the bathroom or anything like that, I just chose to put it in this little bucket. And then when I was done cleaning everything out in here, I would take those items and put them away rather than running all over my house. I feel like that just kind of helps me to stay on task. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of candles in this video these are actually my personal candles that I make I do have a small candle company and I was just testing out some new fragrances that I'm trying to decide if I want to add to my line my husband and I just got all new appliances spring of last year we are saving up to try to replace our countertops in the future get rid of the blue 1980s situation we have going on here and we want to paint our cabinets and replace the overhead lighting and just get rid of the entire 80s vibe we got going on but I am just loving my new appliances this stove is so much easier to clean than my old one and it's just making life so much easier it's just I don't know something about a brand new 
appliance that you could just keep it up. The old one had stains and melted knobs and all kinds of things. So this has just been a lot of fun. It's actually kind of enjoyable to clean the stove now when I used to dread it and put it off all the time. I do have a stainless steel cleaner that I use sometimes to polish the stove, but on this particular day, I actually wasn't using that because it was just slightly dirty. I had cleaned it the day before, but it had a few splatters from dinner the night before, and I just wanted to get those pieces off before they got stuck too hard. They were already kind of stuck a little hard, as you guys can see. I had to scrub a little bit to get those off, but that's why I didn't polish it after. It didn't really feel like it needed it. So I just used a little Dawn dish soap, my sponge, and a rag to get it all nice and clean. Fire, now we're watching it burn. Okay, so I have a really fun one for you guys, but my toddlers got on top of the table and they were digging in one of my candles and smearing the bits of candle all in my table. And I'm going to show you guys a close up here in a minute because the table actually has all these little tiny grooves in it. And so it's not like you can just wipe the items out, like it gets stuck in the groove. So there was so much in the beginning that I went through and actually swept it all like into a, a dustpan with my rag. And then I went back and cleaned it and then there was still so much of the candle smushed between the cracks and so you guys will see that after I wipe this and I spray it and I wipe it again I actually have to go through and spray it like a third or a second time and then I waited for um while I like swept the floor and everything and I came back and wiped it a third time so I'll show you guys another close-up in a moment but yeah this was like very frustrating i had candle all over the floor as well it was everywhere and it was disaster and i didn't get the best clips here but you guys can kind of see bits and pieces it's hard to pick up on camera but in person it was literally everywhere even after wiping the table twice but i did get most of it up after the third wipe so there's that but i mean i swear you guys toddlers can destroy more in like two or three minutes then you can get done in like two or three hours. It is crazy. I wish that I had their energy, motivation, and drive sometimes. I'm acting surprised. But I know I'm not over you I keep missing our fights Think I'm losing my mind But I guess that's what love do these videos so this was actually before Christmas when I was recording this for you guys but you will see here that I have very minimal decorations on the table I had a little bit more than this but my daughters have destroyed it and every time I destroy something I take a little bit away until finally I decided to go with this very minimal look I had this little three tier tray here decorated which actually was a Dollar Tree tutorial that I made if you guys are interested I'll try to remember to link that down below I found it on someone's blog but if you put it on Pinterest it's one of the first ones that comes up when you search for like three tier tray and it came out almost identical to her picture I was actually super surprised it's just two of the little glass candlesticks a pie pan a cake pan and a pizza pan and so literally five dollars plus your paint cost so you use the white chalk paint it came out super cute I was actually surprised it's one of the first do-it-yourself things that I've ever done that have come out just like the project and were just as easy as they said now I used hot glue on mine to make it temporary but you definitely want e6000 
if you want it to come out permanent. So I just moved this little item to the island because my toddlers want to play with all the little trinkets on it. And this also had more on it until they played with it. And it's got way less on it as well. I had some other Christmas trees and things on there during the holiday season, but that's all right. We're just going to stay minimal this time of year. You guys will see when I move them to my living room that half of the tree is undecorated <laughs> because where they can reach, uh, yeah. It doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night Only that time And it's not my style To be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk It's blurry but I've got the image of you Running circles in my mind right now And it could fade away But it probably won't I should let it be But I'm gonna dive Dive into you And maybe I'll drown But what can I do? And it would be alright To let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive Dive into you it doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch The room caught on fire We could blame it on the wine But we know that we will both be lying one of the tricks that I love to do is take a laundry basket and then just put everything in it and then take it wherever you need to go. I've been doing this for years and years and it always helps me feel like I am cleaning up really quickly. And since most of these items were all my daughter's toys, I just went through and put them all in the same basket and went and dumped them in her room so I could clean them up later. And then I'm just showing you guys here all of the socks my toddlers have discarded over the last couple of days. They literally pull their socks off constantly. So yeah, here is a huge pile of socks that I picked up along the way. had gotten grits in my carpet and I didn't see it until the next day so it was really nice and hard here for me so what I did was I went and got a sponge with some Dawn dish soap and I also got like a little dish scrubber that hadn't been used for dishes yet it was totally new and clean and I scrubbed it up and actually I was really surprised it only took about 30 seconds or less on each spot and it came up really quickly I just had a lot of spots to do so you guys will see me moving around and then of course my little helpers got super interested in what I was doing I had a second bowl just a plain water because I thought I was going to have to re wring uh, the cloth out and use it over and over again. But honestly, I just scrubbed each spot one time and then I vacuumed up to get the loose pieces so I could tell if there was anything still left that was hard on there and I had missed one spot. So I went back and did that. But all in all, this project only took a couple of minutes, even with my little helpers interrupting. So I was actually really happy that this was a quick and easy cleanup. I thought it was going to be a lot more work, honestly. If you guys notice, my daughters have an almost identical toy vacuum that is like a Dyson you know mock toy vacuum and they love using that honestly I probably need to get a second one because now that my um, my second daughter is a little bit older they fight over who gets to vacuum with me a lot of the time but I got that on Amazon I'll try to remember to link that down below as well it literally looks identical to my vacuum except that for some reason they painted the uh, rod on it orange I don't know if that has something to do with the copyright agreement they made with Dyson but it actually says Dyson on it and everything so apparently they had some type of like licensing agreement with them I'm guessing so I don't know if that's why they um, made it orange on the stem but I'm very tempted to get a spray paint and spray paint that uh, silver because then it'll be like literally identical to my vacuum but it's really fun I think it's super cute for being a toy vacuum and it actually sucks up just a little bit not much but you'll get a little bit in there one night only that time and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this but, but I'm gonna, gonna die, die. Thank you 
guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope it motivated and inspired you to get something done today. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Consider subscribing if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell so you're notified every single week when I upload new videos. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye. Someone got it done,